Spit it out. Spit it out. Working on home. The flash designs. Probably the thirteen shit, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Nice. And a little heart in her. Gotta do both of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, good to go. Good to go. Good to know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, what was that, man? Here at the shop, hanging out. Anyway. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be talking business with you real quick. Anyhow, so here I am. Just posted, right? Chilling. Back. I want, uh, I want this information to be, you know, somewhat helpful for you, for me, and for others. My videos are aimed for people who are seeking information, right? Oh, dang. How do you get to the next step, to the next level? Well, I'm trying to figure that out myself, too. You know what? In this tattoo industry, there's all kinds of routes, man. You can go this way. You can go that way. You can go in every which way, bro. It's important to figure out where you're going. You got to have a plan. If you don't have a plan, you ain't going to get nowhere, man. If you ain't got a plan, you're going to be stuck doing those little small tattoos here and there. You gotta be able to have a, some kind of a plan so that things work out for you a little better, you know? You wanna turn this gig into a career. A lot of artists are not getting to that career level, you know what I mean? They're coming in and they're sitting around all day and they're waiting on something. They're waiting to do something. Waiting to catch a, a walk in. If you like that kind of workflow, you like to work in that kind of a setup, you're good. You're good where you're at, man. But if you're trying to better yourself, if you're trying to get to a better position, trying to get to a better situation, you know, a next level, a next level up, you want to get up there with the big dogs, then you got to start looking at what the big dogs are doing, man. See, some dudes are widely known. They can just call any random shop and gladly welcome a person like that, you know, at that level. Uh, some dudes are widely known or worldwide known that they can go anywhere in the world and they have a little job there, you know? You want to get to that level, you got to start seeing things differently. You got to start seeing things the way those dudes are seeing things, you know? Don't sit around and wait for, for that walking to come in. Get busy, man. Get busy. My advice to you is to, uh, do something, do something. No, don't sit around and wait for that walking, bro. You know, that's laziness right there. There's so much you can do with your time, man. You can start getting creative. You can start drawing. Stop preparing the next design, you know? That's why we are artists, because we have creativity. We have something in our brains that says we can create, we can design custom things, you know? If you don't have that, then why are you in the industry? If you ain't having that, why are you trying to be up in here, man? This is, this place only, only the creative minds will succeed in this fucking industry, God. I wanted to be busy. I wanted to be tattooing. Well, you know what? I successfully got to that point where I was booked up and busy. Now, the way I went about it, I started just tattooing everybody that walked in the door. I started tattooing everybody. I didn't care what they wanted or what it was they wanted, you know, I was there to design it. Now that route, you step back a little bit and you realize, well, now I'm doing these little tattoos here and there, and I'm doing these big tattoos here and there, 
you know, I want to stay doing only one thing. I want to be dedicated to only one certain style. I don't want to be doing color work on one session and my next thing is all back and gray. You want to be doing something that is flowing, you know. It's, you got to switch your mindset. You know, you're in a creative level where one moment you're doing a color piece and the next moment you're doing a black and gray piece, your mind has to switch somewhere. There has to be a switch where you can rotate that mindset and flip it to where you can design other shit. If you're following me up on that, man, that's uh, that becomes a situation, man. So take heed in these words, man. Become the busy artist, man. Become the artist that people are seeking. People are seeking you somewhere. You just don't exist, you know what I mean? There's people out there that need you. They just don't know that you exist. That's the main thing, man. You are able to help people. You are able to design something beautiful for somebody. You are able to create something for somebody. But that person doesn't know you exist, man. Get yourself out there. Don't be shy. This business, this industry is not for shy people, man. You got to be well-rounded. You know, you got to be able to talk to people. You got to be able to introduce yourself properly. You got to be able to present all this skill that you have. You know, you probably have all this skill bottled up inside you. You just got to let it out so everybody can see it. You know, when you talk to people, you got to talk knowledgeable. Like, you know what you're talking about. But don't sound like a fool because then people are going to be like, ooh, everything he's saying is just not knowledge, man. So make yourself knowledgeable. If you don't have the knowledge, seek that knowledge, man. Seek knowledge. That's what I can do for an advice for you, man. Just seek the knowledge. You got to get from point A to point B. You got to go from step one to step two. You know what I'm saying? How are you going to do that, man? How are you going to do that? Well, right now you're at point A, right? You just got into the shop. You got into the industry. You're fresh into the industry. Maybe you've been in the industry five, six years, seven years, ten years. Whatever it is, the time that you've been on this industry, you know, and you feel like you haven't got anywhere. You've been stuck. You've been stuck on this mindset. You've been thinking this whole time that you are great, you are badass, but this there's going to be a time where people can recognize that out of you. People will not recognize that. People will not see it. People will not acknowledge you. People are not going to know you exist until you bring yourself out of that fucking rat hole, man. Until you bring yourself out. Bring yourself out, man. That's my advice to you. How are you going to bring yourself out, man? You got to be more outgoing. You got to have a personality that people like. You know? You got to have a good vibe. You know? You got to be likable. People want to walk in and find someone they like when they do that they'll come back again and again and again and if they don't come back again it's because they probably don't want no more tattoos but they'll keep sending people your way because they'll know you as a friend they'll know you as the artist that you are they'll recognize you man they have that in the back of their heads this is the guy you should go see he's knowledgeable he knows what he's doing he'll take care of you that's what you want people to do, you know what I mean? I hope you guys are listening to my information. I hope my information is useful. I am gonna be reviewing these videos myself because I need to seek that. You know, I'm digging deep into the crevices. You know, I'm so busy working sometimes. I'm so busy tattooing people all fucking day that sometimes my mind is not thinking outside the box. I need to start thinking outside the box. So, if you're gonna be busy tattooing all goddamn day, like I've been sometimes, then time will pass you by and you'll be stuck on that roll, you know? You've been tattooing all day, but a lot of times you're doing tattoos that you don't wanna do. You're doing those tattoos that someone else is rejecting, you know what I mean? So, I hope that you can start taking time, a little bit of time, to redesign yourself, re-evolve. That's where I'm at right now. That's why I'm doing these videos, because I'm redesigning myself. I'm gonna evolve from this, and I hope you guys can follow me up on this, because I'm gonna be evolving myself. I've had this skill since I was a child. People have always told me that I was skillful in the, in the form of art. And you know what? I've thought, why am I a ghost in this fucking world? Why hasn't no one discovered that I have all this talent? Well, you guess what? Some motherfuckers get lucky, they get discovered. And some motherfuckers, have to pursue 
that acknowledgement. They have to pursue it. That's what I'm in right now. I'm going to pursue this to where I become evolved like a fucking butterfly, man. Like a fucking butterfly. I'm going to evolve, you know what I mean? I'm going to fucking make myself new again. I've been busy tattooing all day that I get caught up in that same thought process like, okay, I'm going to do this little tattoo. I'm going to make quick money. I'm making the quick money, but I don't want the quick money. I want the fucking slow money, you know right? I want that money that comes in slow but fat. Then again, how do you get to that point? Well, you got to start creating yourself, man. You're the artist. You can create a design. You can create yourself, man. Take word, man. Stay tuned. That's it.